What's up, y'all? This is Box the Wave here to do a video on Diego Chavez and um, Brandon Rios, all right? Fight August 2nd, okay? I'm not sure if it's been officially signed, but um, I don't know if they're still in the negotiations or anything like that. But the date that's set is for August 2nd, okay? Um, it's Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day to everyone. Salute to anyone that's in the armed forces, whether you're Navy, Army, Marine, uh, Air Force, whatever it is you, you're in, you know? Much respect to you. Thanks for serving the country. All right. All right. Now the fight. Very excited for the fight. It seems like Brandon Rios does not want to take any easy fights. He's coming off a couple losses and he's not taking any easy fights. This is not an easy fight. Okay. Diego Chavez, if you haven't seen him, uh, he's from Argentina. Doesn't, I think his first, his first fight was last year against Keith Thurman in the States. Okay. It's the first time he fought outside of Argentina, I believe, all right? I could be wrong, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, he lost the fight, but it was an impressive fight. You know, he fought undefeated Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman is still on the rise. And it was a good competitive fight halfway through the uh, halfway through the fight. I thought it was pretty even between the two, okay? Um, but he has skills, you know. I, me, personally, I think Diego Chavez kind of reminds me of Canelo. The movement, the combinations... Uh, the angles that he throws punches and uh, the power that he has. He kind of reminds me of Canelo. I don't think he's as good as Canelo, but he reminds me a little bit of Canelo and his style of fighting. I um, think he's pretty good. Pretty good boxer, you know. Um, he, def he definitely got the boxing skills. He's not no brawler. He's a hard puncher, but he's a good boxer. But uh, seems like Brandon Rios doesn't want to take any easy fights because this is, this is another tough fight for him. Okay, um... Uh, He's coming off the loss against Pacquiao. We know about that. The Mike Alvarado rematch. He lost that fight. And um, you know what? You know, and then the more that I think about it, I think that Brandon Rios, no matter win or lose, he's always going to get a good fight. You know, I think he gets he puts on a good show. And I think even with his losses, he's always going to have another good fight, another fight available, you know. Even if he were to lose this fight. He'd probably get another fight with Alvarado, you know. He'd probably get a shot at Provotnikov eventually. You know, maybe they'll throw Marquez or, you know, top rank, you know, in the mix of all those fighters over there, top rank. Or some of the guys that's on the, on the come up, you know. But uh, I think Diego Chavez, he, he, did get in, he did win a fight since the Thurman, the Thurman loss, okay. He did get another fight that he won. And uh, I think this is the second shot to, you know, uh, prove itself that he belongs at 147, you know, in the discussion of one of the top, or well, one of the top up-and-coming guys at 147, okay? We already know the division is stacked. He lost to Keith Thurman, who is still undefeated, That who fought two more fights since then, okay? A lot of people want to see Thurman, Floyd Mayweather fight already. A lot of people want to see Thurman, Maidana fight that is... It's very possible it might happen, you know. Uh, so, you know, overall, this is a good fight. This has potential to be fight of the year. Um, as far as my thoughts on a fight, if I were to pick between the two of them, I would say Diego Chavez might win this because of his box ability and his power. Brandon Rios can take a good punch. We know that. He's very durable. But, you know, he comes straight forward. Uh Diego Chavez punches a lot harder than the guys that Brandon Rios fought recently. I think Diego Chavez right now probably punches harder than Manny Pacquiao. All right, at this stage of Manny Pacquiao's career, um, I, I'm sure he punches harder than Mike Alvarado as well. Okay, uh, and Mike Alvarado hurt, you know, Brandon Rios, but I think Diego Chavez, as far as punching power. Yeah, this guy's a beast, man. Definitely look his videos up. He fought a lot of guys, not really great fighters over in Argentina, but don't sleep on him. I think he's a very underrated, underrated fighter at 147. Okay, uh, I think this is going to be a tough fight for Brandon Rios, but it could be a, f a tough fight for uh, Diego Chavez as well because he hasn't fought anyone like Brandon Rios. So Brandon Rios can take a good punch, like I said, and he's just going to keep coming. You know, um, is he going to be able to face adversity and fight a guy that's going to keep coming at him? What if his power is not going to phase Brandon Reels? Can he take Brandon Reels' power himself? You know, a guy that's going to keep coming forward, all right? 
nonstop. So uh, it's an interesting fight. I think this has potential to be fight of the year. All right, this is one of those fights that, you know, it's not the biggest names, but you got to check this fight out, all right? It's going to be a good fight. So that's just my thoughts on the fight. I love the fight. Um, I hope it goes down. I don't know if they're still in negotiations or not. It might be already set. I know it's scheduled for August 2nd, but, you know, I don't know if they're still going through negotiations or whatever. But uh, it should be a really good fight. Uh, not an easy fight for e neither, either op opponent, all right? So make sure you check that fight out. All right, subscribe to the channel, leave comments, and share your thoughts on the fight. Let me know what you guys think.